in Kharagpur. Prior to joining the IIES Tishik Board, he was Professor of Electronics and Electrical Communication Engineering and Head, School of Medical Science and Technology at IIT Kharagpur. He is also a fellow member of the Institute of Cost Accountants. Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Dr. Ajay Kumar Rai. Very good morning to all of you, my dear degree recipients of today's convocation, our honorable chief guests, Mr. Chandrasekhar Ghosh, Chairman Bandhan Bank, Professor Amiyo Kumar Bhakti, my colleague, Professor Malayandu Shah, Vice Chancellor of Golani University, President CMA BP Fattah, Vice President, other members, very distinguished members on the dais, and my dear young degree recipients. Indeed, I am very happy to be here with you on this great occasion, a day of days for all of you who will be receiving their degrees today. And obviously, during the last couple of years, it's the fruits that you will be enjoying now and you will be endowed with a certificate for which you definitely command all our appreciation and best wishes. I'm from a person, I'm from a world which is uh, quite far away from your world of economics, accounts and all. And as has just been pointed out, I belong to the world of engineering. All that I can tell you is when Mr. Pashu talked about in his opening speech from Rabindranath Tagore's very famous poem, Prathana. So he said there was a very important line that is, Gyan Jetha Mukto, Jetha Bihed Prachi, Apon Prangano Tole, Divasho Shar Kori, Boshudhade Rakhenai, Hondo Kutro Kori. The meaning is that what we have done is we have tried to segment and fragment our society, the whole world around us. We have so far fragmented the space of knowledge. We say that this is engineering, this is science, this is medicine. You are from cost accountancy. The other persons are from economics. Other groups are from literature. But then remember that this whole space of knowledge, it is integrated and it is united. My dear degree recipients, this is the same thing I tell to my engineering students as well. That remember that there is actually no fragmentation. No fragmentation of our society. Somehow over centuries we have fragmented. We have divided our, our civilization, we have divided our minds. There is a big room, we have divided the room, again subdivided them. And this is one of the things that in 21st century we must think about. It will no longer be divisive, but 21st century aims at a very different objective and 21st century would like to see more of integration, not of differentiation. I'm sure that you who are from this cost accountancy area, you are experts in economics, accountancy and all. Only thing I can tell you is where do you meet with the whole realm of engineering science? The economics in my opinion tomorrow in 21st century will be basically guided by number one the most important thing that matters today is energy everything related to energy energy means without mining you cannot do any energy 
So coal mining and energy, the different sectors of energy is going to be the major economic force tomorrow. And as you know that because of lot of use of, uh, you know, the fossil fuels like coal, petroleum and all these things with which as cost accountants you will be definitely involved with many of these industries. It is creating huge amount of greenhouse gases which in turn is a real menace to the environmental pollution of 21st century. It is very hard to see that whether the humanity will exist in 22nd century or not, we have come to a state where we have to think very seriously. Especially after the last Paris Convention, all the heads of the states from all the countries, they have come to a conclusion. After a long time now, they have taken it up very seriously. I am not very sure whether we have taken it up very seriously or not. But then unless we take up this particular area, humanity is possibly going to be doomed. At IIT Kharagpur, we started a very new kind of a school, the School of Medical Science and Technology. Earlier we knew that doctors are separate, engineers are separate. So this is again a very important, you know, area where we were the first in India to start combining or merging engineering and medicine. And I had the opportunity to lead that department and that is the School of Medical Science and Technology. Remember that tomorrow's economy will be guided to a very large extent by medicine, by healthcare, where engineering and medicine, the medical doctors and engineers will have to join together and that is the key to the success of all the healthcare problems for tomorrow. Environment, as I said, is very important. Transportation, telecommunication are extremely important and it will be becoming much more and more important in the days to come. And in our efforts to find out the solutions to all the problems, you need to have different kinds of materials, different kinds of metallurgy and there will be huge amount of change in all these sectors as well. Friends, one important thing is you have to understand that the basic feature of the days to come in which you will be the leader of the whole world is that we are going to have huge change. Change is the only thing. Change is the only thing of which we must be aware of. And rapid changes are coming in front of you. We have seen that changes over the last 15 to 20 years after the IT revolution. Today, a single mobile can do anything and everything. And the changes which are coming still ahead will be truly mind-boggling. And as many academicians usually say, that you have to know that how to manage the change. If you cannot manage the change which is coming ahead, the important thing is that you must get ahead of the change. And that's possibly a smart way of managing the changes. My dear friends, so in this very complex situation, when 21st century will see lots of such things in future, all that we can bless you is that you become prepared and you get enough of strength so that you can mitigate, you can face all the challenges that 21st century provides with us. We who are seniors on the DAS and of the DAS, your teachers, parents, will have all the blessings for all of you for a very bright, happy and successful days ahead. Thank you very much.